Hello, a couple of days ago I came across this demo. The original anima animation was created by Bees and Bombs, as you can see here. Um, and it's something uh, that I also recreated in the past. So I was curious to see how it was done here. So the thing is, it's done by duplicating those small circles. Um, and here there's quite a bit of repetition in the code. And by the way, this, don't do this. If you want to have something switch at 50%, use the steps timing function. Uh, don't do a change like this. Um, anyway, as I said, I coded this before. And as you can see, this is not duplicating uh, those dots. And um, the SAS itself looks pretty clean. But if we look at the generated code, okay, let's poke a bit of fun at my former self. Okay, so this is uh, before uh, CSS custom properties, so at least I have an excuse, <laughs> but okay, this is not going to be pretty. Like, look at this. So I have this transform, transform, and it's almost the same thing. The, the only thing that's different is this 0, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and here the same for the animation delay. <laughs> It's pretty much the same thing, and it gets repeated, repeated, repeated. As you can see, it's not the prettiest thing. So, today I'm going to do it in a much more compact manner using CSS custom properties. So, let's get started with that. Um, I'm going to just copy-paste uh, the same structure and use the same preprocessor, because uh, there's no point in changing that. So, um... Yeah. Um, actually, I think I'm also going to um, uh, copy the SAS and then just uh, make changes from there because uh, that's going to be a lot easier. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need to make quite a few changes. <laughs> um, because as time passes, we get better ways of doing things and the old ways start to look ugh, a bit yucky okay so um something um that i'm going to do here so i'm just uh, going to uh take this out and i'm going to move it here and here i'm going to uh take out uh, the content and uh, i'm just going to uh put this just uh get rid of the after just put everything there and uh, that's not going to damage anything. Okay, uh, now feet uh, here for the dots and all that stuff. So I'm going to have something pretty similar here, um, except this is going to be my initial position. So um, this is going to be, as I said, my initial position. So uh, not with transform. Um, and this I'm going to uh, change. Okay, what did I do wrong around here? Oh, okay, yeah, obviously that. Okay, so uh, this is going to be an I, um, and it's going to get multiplied with this, and I need to interpolate it because I'm going to put it inside a calc. Okay, and this i is going to be a zero initially. Um, and here, what I'm going to do is set i to the loop index. Um, and here, set transform position. Okay, and that's just great. Okay, uh, now the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, take that uh, animation delay from there. Actually, just uh, take this animation from here and uh, just put it here and use an animation delay that's similar to that. Let's take that thing out of there. Um, Use the animation delay there, and I'm going to use a calc. And again, I'm going to have um, 
Okay. My typing is just the worst. Here I need to interpolate stuff and it's everything except for that I. Okay, so this is what I have right now. Um, so this is not going to be this. Okay, I'm going to have um, my initial positioning. Uh, translation um, and this translation is going to be an offset so I'm just going to uh, have the offset here so let's set that offset so offset Okay, and this is going to be rotate y, zero degrees, and then I'm going to have that offset. Okay, uh, now I'm going to need to reverse that whole thing. Uh, and the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to uh, set here um, the position. going to be nothing but I can't exactly write space in SAS because I'm going to get an error so I'm just going to need to use unquote and this is going to be the offset now here I'm going to inherit the animation now let's compact this a bit so um, I don't lose lines so here I'm going to have animation inherit and then I'm going to have um, animation direction uh, reverse. So now I'm done and it looks nice. But I can compact this even further because as you can see here I have a rotation of one turn. And uh, here for the assembly I also have a rotation of one turn. Of course, they're not rotated around the same axis, but these rotations, I can express them as rotate 3D. So this one, Y, I can express this as rotate 3D, 0, 1, because it's along the Y axis, uh, 0 and 1 turn, and then I'm just uh, going to take this and replace it. Here, where I also have rotate y and replace it with that. And here I'm going to have something similar, except the y is going to be uh, 0 and the z is going to be 1. So, um, here I'm going to have the j, this is the vector along the y axis. Here it's 0. Um, and here, I'm, for all of them, I'm going to set that k, the vector along the z-axis, is calc uh, 1 minus j. So, um, it's uh, always the other one. So, uh, here, I'm going to have, I'm going to switch j to 1, and k is going to switch to 0. So, what I need to do now is just replace everywhere uh, with J and K. So the second one is going to be um, J and the third one is going to be K. So this one is J and the third one is K. Okay. Now, the thing is, right here, where I'm doing this, as you can see it, so um, right here, Uh, 
I'm I can add those position and the offset because they're nothing for the assembly because I set them all for all the elements to be nothing so here I can add the position and the offset so and as you can see nothing changes so this means I can just take uh, that out of there and I can use this animation for all of them so just put this animation here and it's not going to have this uh, duration I'm just going to have this uh, duration right here so animation duration um, just delete this okay now here uh, this is pretty much the same except again I'm going to uh, just uh, get rid of this I'm going to have uh, animation direction uh, reverse I'm going to have animation delay that calc um, and I'm going to have for the after normal uh, animation inherit works okay and now I have the result I've been after and I'm only using one set of keyframes the one you can see right here so actually let's uh, move this all the way to the end um, let's uh, make this easier to read like this and uh, yeah this is pretty much it we have the final result and now if we look at the generated code it's going to look a lot better because we don't have all that repetition that we had before so here I'm just setting those indices 0 1 um, and actually something I can fix here because my default uh, for I is 0 I don't need to go from 0 within this loop I can start from 1 so now that I've done this let's check the generated code and um, as you can see I have something small so I'm just setting those indices and then I have no repetition and I have just this uh, uh, set of keyframes with one keyframe animation and I'm fitting it in 100 lines uh, of uh, generated CSS so um, yeah this is it I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description. You have the option of making a donation to help me continue pay my bills and all that stuff. Or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist which is stuff that I really want and I'd probably spend money on otherwise. Or at least you can share this, uh, you know, show it to more people show the world what can be done with CSS these days because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.